Hello, everybody. This is Skyla Mann. I am a Young Living Diamond from Iowa, and you have found yourself on Thursday Night Live. So we are happy to have you join us tonight, and we are even happier to have Carla Green as our guest speaker tonight. Carla um, is an absolute treasure, not only to Young Living, um, but as a friend. Carla and her husband, Bill, I feel like from from the very first time that I met them several years ago, literally took me under their wing and were just two of the kindest people that I had ever met in this company. And for those of you that are on tonight's Zoom that are part of their team, you already know that. <laughs> but I just want you to know how incredibly blessed you must feel um, to have them as part of your leadership. Um, because I can feel the love um, all the way from Iowa and and I'm just so tickled to even know who they are um, and really really delighted to have Carla take time out of her schedule which I know is very full <laughs> so Carla that um, that does not go unnoticed so I, I appreciate that so so much um, Carla's her, her biography, her, her resume is extensive, and I'm not going to go into all of it tonight because I know that you will touch on that, but you guys, I, I can just tell you that there's a lot of us in Young Living that have reached the rank of diamond through God's grace, not through our um, wellness education. <laughs> Let me just say it that way. Um, that, but Carla is the real deal, and she brings so much depth and so much value of how we can really put these products to use in a, in a purposeful way. And so um, I'm, I'm just overjoyed that we get to kind of bask in your knowledge tonight, Carla, and, and I'm excited to be able to turn this over to you. So without further ado, I give you Carla Green. Well, thank you for that uh, wonderful introduction, Skyla. You're more than too kind. It's uh, absolutely an honor and a pleasure to, um, to join forces with other Young Living team members, uh, other leaders. Uh, Skyla's too humble. She has helped me out so amazing with all kinds of cool ideas. So we really do have in Young Living a team young living and we do help each other as much as we possibly can at least that's that's where we got to diamond we had lots of cross-line help uh, what i'm going to talk to you about tonight is a, a topic that is something i'm super super passionate about and part of what i'm going to be telling you tonight is something i have recited thousands of times because i'm a physiotherapist i'm a registered acupuncturist i've been in clinical practice for 36 years I have a specialty in pediatrics, and my goal with my patients is to help them to get to the root of whatever challenge they come to with me, or to help them to lay out a path so that they don't end up in trouble in the future. So what I'm going to be sharing with you is something that I share with every single patient that walks through my door. So. I can assure you it's tried and true and tested and the results are absolutely spectacular and it's super, super simple. So it's, um, I have patients that come from all over the world. I have patients that travel from other provinces, others come up from the US to see me. I'm not saying that to impress you. I'm just impressing upon you that what I'm sharing with you is something that really, really, really works. Um, and so let's just get in and let's see. I've got a little bit of PowerPoint, but it, we don't really, oh, where am I going here? Uh, share screen, where's the screen gone? I got it. Hang on. Technology, there we go. All right, can everybody see that? Yay. All right, so let's get going. Let's see. Um, where is it? There we go. All right. So yes, I've been around for 36 years in practice. I will be 60 on my next birthday. We have a clinic in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, uh, that we've been in that private clinic for 32 years. 
we see it's a holistic health clinic so we see everything um, I, uh, my husband Bill, Bill does hypnosis therapy and so we've got a one-stop shop and this is where a lot of people um, find their way to our little tiny town of 7,500 people so on top of um, wanting to help people to be healthier I 15 years ago looked in the mirror and didn't really like what I was seeing back because I feel like I'm like 28 years old I can act that way a lot often I like to party I like to have fun <laughs> and the face in the mirror that was looking back at me wasn't reflecting that so we actually developed a very cool protocol called second chance facial rejuvenation where we marry um, beauty and the motivation of vanity which I discovered was a powerful motivating tool I could have physio patients come into my clinic and I could talk my ear off about omega-3 fish oil and how important it was for their joints and their heart and they'd walk out and not buy any. But with our second chance facial rejuvenation program, when I could show them that that would help prevent a wrinkle from coming back that we just erased, they would go out with bottles so they wouldn't run out. So um, that's been a fun part of our journey as well and sort of how I brought the beauty aspect in as well. Now, the thing that uh, people don't understand and don't realize, because you're always looking for the, the complicated answer and you're always looking for the next big thing that's going to help you with your health, but what's really the biggest impact on your health is your diet um, and your lifestyle. And this is a research study that was done that actually showed that the cause of some of the most serious things that impact our health is diet is equivalent to smoking now we tend to look at people who smoke and kind of look down our nose at them and think well you know you're sick because you're not taking care of yourself because you smoke and we tend to be a bit judgmental but we're sitting there eating a donut and drinking a soda pop and thinking everything's cool in our world so just to let you to show you this the science does show that our diet is equally influencing our health as the equivalent of, of people who are smokers and that was something that just was really caught my attention um, so let's take the analogy of your body being like a car uh, what you have for your diet is going to be the equivalent of what fuel you put in your car so you could have really good fuel that's going to make your car run really well you can have kind of dirty fuel that will get you there but you kind of hug a chugga and not do so great you could accidentally put uh, diesel fuel in your car engine that isn't supposed to take diesel and that could, or gas in your diesel engine or whatever the, the wrong connection is and you could really, really have big problems. So when you look at what you're putting into your mouth, that is looking, that's the fuel that's, that, is it good fuel? Is it serving you well? Now, it's not just what you are putting in, it's also what you're not putting in, and there's a real combination. And what I found over the years, and this has been my personal health journey, I was diagnosed, I think a little over three years ago, with autoimmune uh, Hashimoto's thyroid. And the, the rule of thumb is basically, if you end up with an autoimmune disease, you're toast. Like you're, you're stuck with it, there's nothing you can do other than take medication to control it. And I was not willing to take that route. I was willing to do anything I could naturally. And so long story short, I reversed my autoimmune disease. I have no antibodies right now. I'm not on pharmaceutical medication for it. And a huge part of that journey was discovering what foods my body didn't tolerate. Now for someone else that might be a healthy food, but for me it wasn't. And the main two that are really, really huge culprits are uh, gluten and dairy. And there are literally thousands of people walking around that are sensitive to gluten and dairy that don't know that this is the underlying cause of their problems, whether it's cognitive problems or joint problems or whatever they are. And the interesting thing too in my study as a, becoming a certified gluten practitioner is that people think if they're intolerant of a food, they should actually um, have a symptom like gut ache or bloating or diarrhea or constipation. Where in truth, one out of eight people who are intolerant of a food 
have gut symptoms. The other seven do not manifest as gut symptoms. In my case, it manifested with my thyroid. I have had patients that when they eliminated gluten and dairy, all their joint pains went away like 100% completely. I've had people that eliminated gluten and dairy and they, um, their depression lifted. So you just don't, you can't just judge it on your gut. Now, if you want to explore this in the most cost-effective way, then the Virgin Diet Cookbook is my highest recommendation. This is an amazing book that walks you through everything you need to know. Uh, she actually eliminates the seven most common um, food intolerances, and she gives you grocery lists and menu plans and the most amazing, easy, delicious recipes. It takes a lot of commitment to eliminate all seven. I have eliminated all seven, but some people just get pretty scared with that. So I, I say get the book, follow it through, and just eliminate gluten and dairy, but you can still use her information and you can still use her recipes. But anyway, on the diet front, the fuel that's going into your body, you have to pay attention as to what's in there that maybe shouldn't be in there. And it, often isn't obvious like the donuts and the soda. It could be something like, um, you know, a lovely piece of uh, organic cheese, but for you, that's not good. So there's your tip for the diet side of things. Now supplements, why would we need supplements? Well, again, using the analogy of a car, supplements is like having car insurance. Um, would you ever drive your car around without having car insurance? I don't think many people would. Now, when you're looking at the food you eat, you're going to have places where you're not getting enough nutrients. Now, that's partly because the soil isn't got the same kind of nutrients. If you don't have selenium in your soil and you go and buy broccoli, there's not going to be selenium in your broccoli and you're going to be selenium deficient. Even if you're buying organic, still a lot of times because of soil and that, you're not getting the full complement of the foods that you should get. Uh, there's some research that shows that um, uh, the mineral activity in our food and the vitamin activity in our food is severely depleted. And so even if you're eating really good, wholesome food, you could be missing certain key elements. The other thing to realize is when our bodies remodel themselves every single day, there's always cells that are dying because they've worn out and your body is building new ones. So they, the, the, um, the estimation is that your body cells are completely replaced every 18 to 24 months. So every 18 to 24 months, there isn't a cell that's the same as it was 24 months ago because your body's had to rebuild it, remodel it. Now, what do you use to rebuild and remodel cells? You need to have core basic building blocks to do that. If your body doesn't have those basic building blocks, it's not going to build a good functioning cell. So it's kind of like if you're going to go build a brick house and you don't have any bricks, then you're going to have a house that's kind of just thrown together with different pieces of whatever you're using. Now we go back to the analogy of a car. Would you ever, would you ever even consider taking your car out of the garage if it didn't have brake fluid, if it didn't have transmission fluid? If the radiator didn't have coolant in it, if there was no, no oil in it, we actually have in our cars um, different uh, warning lights that come on to let us know when those are getting low because that's a big deal. You might get a little piece down the road, but you're not going to get very far and you're going to be in trouble fast if you don't have those basics. So. I have come up with a program that's called Supplements Made Simple, and this is what I teach to all my uh, patients. I say, give your body the basics, kind of like having a car that you wouldn't go out of the garage without motor oil being in it. Give your body the core basics and see what happens. And interestingly enough, quite often amazing changes can take place. Now, it's not going to happen in 24 or 48 hours most often because your body needs to use this to rebuild and remodel. In some cases, people will notice a big shift. Maybe they'll wake up with a ton more energy within 24 hours of starting because suddenly things are working better. But as a rule, when you're using supplements, you should be looking at three months before you 
you know, decide maybe it isn't really working for you or whatever. So what I'm going to do is lay out those key supplements because they are so, so easy to introduce into your program. So the other analogy I do is like build your table of health. So the four key supplements are like the legs of your table. And once you've built your table, you can add other supplements on top if you want to get things going a little faster or a little more targeted. But the basics should be where you always, always start. And I'll say to my patients, you know, if we get the basics in place, some of this more targeted stuff, we might not even need because with your body having the basics, it's going to start to work better. And when it works better then whatever symptom you're dealing with might actually be gone. So that's why I like to build those basics out first. So there are four areas that we need to cover and one is free radical damage. So there are free radicals that these are things that bombard our body. Um, Dr. Bruce Ames from the University of California, I believe, said that every cell in our body is bombarded like 10,000 times a day by, by free radicals. And free radicals damage our cell walls. It's kind of like your, your car rusting. So we need something to counterbalance to sort of protect us against that. Now, the way that we do that is to have a large amount of antioxidants in our diet. Now, those are like green, color, colorful fruits, colorful vegetables, eating as many of those organic, fresh that you can. But it, you still need a lot. And so, of course, what do we have in our Young Living World that is just filled with fruits um, of all different colors and essential oils? our wonderful ninja juice, which I'm gonna have a sip right now. So the ninja juice is a core basic. And even if you just start with two ounces a day, you can certainly do more if you wanna kickstart more. It's flash pasteurized, so there's active enzymes in there. Some of you may have your own stories of having some pretty significant improvements in how you feel just by taking ninja juice. I know one lady, I gifted her just a little two ounce packet at a talk that I did and she phoned me the next morning and said, I woke up with more energy I've had in five years. Like what was in there? So if it's something you're really, really, um, your body really needs badly, that's when you're going to notice more of a bigger shift. And you, you know, if you're not noticing a shift, you have to know that your body's got the core building blocks it's using to work. So there's no added sugar in this, so it's a really great way to support your body. So that's like one of your table legs. Mm. All right, so the other thing we have to look at is probiotics. These are our good bacteria. Now, this has had a lot of research in the last few years, and they've really been able to connect our neurotransmitters and our brain health with our gut. And they're discovering that probiotics are very, very critical to numerous areas of our body. It helps our immune system to function better. It helps our digestive system. It helps with energy. It's extremely important for healthy skin. Now, when we're talking about a little later, when we talk about our nutritional uh, facelift, again, when you're wanting to look younger, want to not have very many wrinkles as you age, then these are all things that are super critical. And it also helps with your body to clean itself and detoxify itself. So that's a second critical supplement. We have a beautiful one, Life 9. It's got nine clinically proven strains of different probiotics, 17 billion live cultures, and it's in a delayed release capsule. So I like to take my probiotics just before I go to bed. And, uh, but you can take it any time of the day, but that's gonna be your second core leg. Now this is one that often people just, it's not in their radar at all, and people don't usually talk about enzymes. Well, enzymes are really, really critical to how our body functions. When you're 20 years old, you've got about 98% of your enzymes, uh, uh, medication and things are going quite well. Now, enzymes deplete as we age, just normal, everyday aging wear and tear. So on your 40th birthday, 
you've got about 75% of your enzymes. By the time you get to your 70th birthday, you've got about 33% of your enzyme. How many people can remember seeing or know someone who's an older person that eats tiny little portion? You're like, that's not enough to sustain a bird. And they're like, oh, but I feel full and I, I, you know, I can't eat anymore. It, it's, I had enough. And a lot of it's because they don't have enough enzymes. Now, if you're in 33% enzymes when you're 70 years old, how many enzymes do you think you've got when you're 80 or you're 85 or you're 90? It really goes down a lot. So what do enzymes do? They take a chunk of the fuel, the food you put into your body, and each enzyme will break that down into its individual molecules. Those are the building blocks your body needs to heal and repair and build new cells. So if you don't have enzymes to break the food down, you're not going to get as much nutrition out of your food. If you're eating organic or growing your own uh, food in the garden and you're doing all the weeding and stuff, that's a lot of work to get that good food. And then it gets to your gut. Your body can't break it down like it's supposed to. Now, when people don't have enough enzymes, they may feel like they're bloated or feel like food sits in their belly. But sometimes you don't even have a lot of digestive symptoms. A cool um, uh, experience I had was when I learned more about the power of enzymes and how important they were. Of course, my wonderful mother, which a lot of you may know, she's 96. I said to my mother, my goodness, you're 90 years old. I've just learned about enzymes. Let's put you on enzymes just as good health preventative, like your basic motor oil transmission fluid basics. When we did that, the biggest thing we noticed the fastest was an improvement in her memory. Well, you know, enzymes are in your gut. Well, maybe what was happening is she was getting better building blocks for her neurological system in her brain, and that's why that was the first thing that we noticed. So enzymes is your fourth table leg. We have a wonderful one, essential sign four, and it's wonderful because it covers your fats, your carbs, your proteins, your fiber, and in the time-released capsules that are so easy to carry, um, you can take them with every meal. So you just take them with your meal. It has lemongrass, ginger, fennel, essential oils that help support our digestive system. And then our fourth table leg is going to be um, an omega-3 fatty acid. Now, this is how I explain it to people. Omega-3 fatty acids are required for the wall of your cell to be nice and flexible, to allow nutrients to get through the cell to the inside, to allow the garbage and the toxins to come out. Hormones are going to come down from your thyroid, from your pancreas, and they have to latch and kind of dock onto the outside of your cell wall into special little docking stations for them to send their message into the cell where the cell then knows what to do. And if you have not enough omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, your cell walls become very rigid. The nutrients can't get in, the garbage can't get out, and when the hormone comes down to latch on, it doesn't get a good link and so the message may not get through clearly or as completely as possible. We have trillions of cells in our body and every single cell wall needs to have this flexibility to it. We've also discovered that the cell wall is like a mini computer chip and it's the gatekeeper that allows the right things in and doesn't let things inside the cell that aren't supposed to be there. So it's super critical for the cell wall to be as healthy as possible. So fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids, is the absolute smorgasbord for your cell walls. And so we have a wonderful omega gis 3. Uh, if you take it at the four capsules a day, uh, you're going to get 950 units of vitamin D in there as well. If you take it at eight capsules a day, you're gonna get close to 2,000 units of vitamin D. Omega-GIS-3 also has CoQ10 in it. 
Now, if for some reason you cannot take a fish-based omega-3 supplement, then the alternative in Young Living would be MindWise because it's a vegetable-based omega-3. But the fish-based omega-3s are the ideal best way to go. So you've got your four table legs. And what I say the top of your table is a little bit of extra vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is one of the most um, affordable supplements that you could ever purchase. Young Living doesn't have just a plain vitamin D. Um, it has vitamin D in some of its supplements, but it is recommended that adults have about 5,000 units a day. So I say go to your local health food store and find a good quality vitamin D and just top up what you're getting out of your Young Living supplement. So if you're um, using your Omega Gis, you might need to add just a few extra uh, vitamin D tablets to that. Vitamin D is super, super, super critical because it's involved in how well our genes express themselves. And it can upregulate and downregulate different genes. So that's why it's really important. So if we look at our table analogy again, We've got Ningxia as our antioxidant, Life 9 as our new probiotic, Essential Zymes 4 as our enzymes to break down the molecules, Omega Gis 3 for the supplement for the walls to pull and our body to work better and top it off with a little extra vitamin D. Now what I suggest to people is if you can possibly put all those in place all at the same time, that is ideal. If that is not possible, then start with whatever you can start with and add in as many of the other ones as you can until you've built your table and got that fit, set up. Only then do you go on to add other targeted supplements. Unless you really want to go big and do it all at once, then you can go for everything. Um, so that's kind of where we go. Now, like I said, going back to the analogy of the car, this is how I look at these core basic supplements. You would never take your car out of the garage without these fluids being popped up. You shouldn't take your body out of your bed, out of your home, without these supplements being popped up. And I can tell you, it will make a massive, massive difference in your health when you do that. So that's sort of the basics of what I call my supplements made simple. It's really simple to explain to a new team member if they're interested in going down the supplement path. You know, where do I go? How do I start? What do I do? And so using our little analogy of a car and the fluids or the table with the four legs, that's kind of your easy, simple way to put that out there for them. So I promised you that I would share a four-day nutritional facelift menu plan. So your skin and what happens on your face obviously is related to the health of your body. In our Second Chance Facial Rejuvenation Program, uh, it's a protocol that I put together that has multiple layers. We actually use a microcurrent machine and we teach people how to sculpt the face to shorten and lengthen the muscles and help use microcurrent for that. But then we need to have good topical products. And I know a company that has amazing facial topical products. Then we need to also look at um, detox, making sure their toxins aren't in our system because toxins will build up and can help make you look older. And our company as well has amazing chemical free cleaning and that as well. And so we've got wonderful skincare products as well. Now, all of the things that I've told you, the basics that we need for our health are also what will help your face look more youthful. Now, as a rule, I tend to not wear any makeup except for a little organic blush and a little bit of mascara. There's several reasons for that. One is I'm kind of lazy, and so it doesn't. it's quicker. Number two is I've never liked using any makeup on my face because I knew there wasn't anything that was really clean uh, out there. 
And now that we have Savvy Minerals, I've got a little bit more makeup on today because it's fun to be able to use our amazing Savvy Minerals knowing that they're so, so good for our faces. But the third reason that I often don't use much makeup is I don't really need hardly any because coming on 60, uh, my face is doing pretty well. And the reason for it is a lot to do with my diet, the supplements I choose to take, and just using food and no supplements alone. You can actually, in four days, um, you can see a visible change in your face. Now, the, the nutritional facelift menu plan is a little too long to just have all on slides here. So the link that's uh, on there is where you can go and you can download the whole menu plan that I'm going to explain to you verbally here. So have no fear. We will also post the link um, in the recorded, uh, where we post the recording link for this as well. So a couple of key points about this for day nutritional facelift menu plan is that protein is really important for the structure of our body and it's a key integral part of the structure of our cells. So this four day menu plan includes a lot of protein. Now we're using salmon as the main protein because it's very high in omega-3s and now we know why that's good for your skin and your face. And it's got a DMAE which is a, an a, a, a supplement that is really, really good for the skin, it, and it's got axisthenthin, which is a carotenoid. And these are all just really powerful nutrients for skin, which is why we're using um, the, the salmon. We're using low glycemic index foods because sugar causes wrinkles. And so we don't want to have high glycemic foods. So just following this diet for the four days will also help to stabilize your blood sugar. We are leaving gluten and dairy out of this four-day program. And part of the reason is because there are so many people that have hidden intolerances. And when you have that intolerance, it creates inflammation. And inflammation can make you puffy, can create wrinkles. And if you're one of the people that um, is possibly reacting and you don't know that you are, within four days you might notice a shift just related to other things as well. And the last thing about this diet is it's got lots and lots and lots of water, good, healthy, clean water, because that makes a massive difference on how our faces look. So by following this four day menu plan, and, I, and I'm gonna lay it out without any supplements, just food, and then you have the option if you want to, to add in some supplements that I'll lay out for you as well. So with doing this, you want to take a picture of your face from the front and from the side, no makeup, good lighting, because you want to be able to have a memory of what your face looked like before you started. Things that can improve with this four-day diet is the location and the depth of the lines and wrinkles, the puffiness and different um, underneath your eyes, around your crow's feet, your eyelids, uh, the definition along the jawline, the color of your skin. Some people have kind of blotchy skin and, and different um, tones and discolored areas. And the texture of your skin, how smooth and silky it is. Those are some of the things that, um, that can change. Um, so this is what you're going to do for four days. And when, when you download this, there's actually a, a grocery list with it as well. So for four days, what you're going to do is you're going to start in the morning by drinking 8 to 12 ounces of clean spring water. Now, I like to add Ninja to mine, and that will up the effect of this. You can add Vitality oils to it as well. And then for your protein... You're going to do a three egg omelet. You can mix it with broccoli, asparagus, or spinach, or you can do a four to six ounce piece of grilled salmon. You want to get salmon in twice a day somewhere, breakfast, lunch, supper, somewhere in there twice a day minimum. If you don't have time for that in the morning, you could do a short, a protein shake. And I really like our sleep shake from Young Living because it's vegan and it's a pea protein base. Throw a ton of berries, colored berries, frozen berries in there so you can change up the flavor every day. 
Uh, you can use uh, organic rice milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, almond milk, cashew milk, any of those, or just plain water. And for fruit, either in your shake or beside your omelet, you can use cantaloupe, it's really good. The orange for the carotenoids is good for skin. Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, fresh, frozen, doesn't matter. Uh, you could do uh, gluten-free oatmeal and mix your berries in with that as well. What you don't want to have is any juice because it's got a lot of sugar. You don't want coffee and you don't want toast. You want to leave out those you can use black tea or green tea if you're a bit of a caffeine junkie and you're worried about withdrawal from the caffeine. I love our sleep tea. That's a great one and that, that's got natural uh, caffeine in it. You could also indulge in a can of Ninja Zing or a Ninja Nitro to help get your little pick-me-up without the coffee. Um, then mid-morning, you're going to have a snack. Again, it's going to be 8 to 12 ounces of water. Um, I'll give you a list of some of the ideas of the snack items a bit later. Uh, lunch, back to 8 to 12 ounces of water. Again, I throw in 2 ounces of ninja juice. You're going to do your 4 to 6 ounces of grilled salmon. You could use turkey or organic chicken. You're not going to get the results as good if you don't get 2 servings of salmon in there because you don't have the nutrients that the salmon, um, turkey and chicken don't have those in there. You could make um, a little bit of a, a salmon salad with a bit of organic mayonnaise. You could do a chopped salad and mix some of that on there. Put in some nuts, um, some fruit in that as well. If time's short, you can go back to the shake idea. If you're running at lunch and you can do the sleek shake with your fruit in it or that. Um, and then, like I say, a salad, a green salad with some veggies or fruit in it is, is a good way to go. Mid-afternoon, you're going to have a snack again with another 8 to 12 ounces of water. And when you get to supper time, dinner time, you're going to have another 8 to 12 ounces of water. And I like to put my 2 ounces of Ninja in. Again, a 4 to 6 ounce grilled salmon or turkey or chicken. A green salad, you can do steamed veggies, put like olive oil is a great um, thing to put on because it's really, really good for your cells. You don't want root vegetables like potatoes or turnips or beets or carrots because they're very, very high in sugar. And so you can have a green salad, you can have some like green beans, snow peas, broccoli, cauliflower, those kinds of uh, veggies. Cantaloupe and berries are great for dessert. And so that's kind of how you go. And then you can have a bedtime snack and again, some more water before bed. So ideas for your snacks. You could have a hard boiled egg and a medium apple. That's kind of a good, healthy snack. You can have a pear and a handful of almonds. You can have a couple pieces of turkey bacon and a hard boiled egg. You could do a nectarine or a peach, some blueberries mixed with some low like coconut milk yogurt. A lot of stores now have wonderful coconut milk yogurt, and it's really, really tasty. You could do some celery and cucumber uh, and some hummus. You could do uh, some organic sliced turkey or chicken breast. You could do a sleek bar. Young Living Sleek Bars are gluten-free, dairy-free, and very high in protein. You could make a trail mix. My favorite is um, uh, we use... Uh, organic coconut chips. We use the dried ginger wolf berries and we use toasted almonds or organ organic almonds. Makes a wonderful trail mix. You can just do handful of different nuts, hazelnuts or uh, pecans, walnuts. You could do some organic olives with some uh, tuna, some canned tuna or something like that. So lots of ideas for snacks. Now, the supplements that I suggest you add in if you really, really want to ramp this up is obviously you've heard a few of them. Uh, you can do the um, two capsules of Omega Gize 3 at breakfast and supper. That's going to really ramp up your Omega 3 fatty acids. It's going to give you some more of your vitamin D and your CoQ10. One capsule of Young Living's Longevity at breakfast and at bedtime. It's a powerful fat soluble antioxidant, and your skin is made of lots and lots of fat, fatty cells and stuff. So it's really, really good for that. Obviously, the Ninja Zing, the Ninja Nitro, the Sleek Tea are things you can add in. And then um, at supper, you can do your Omega Gize 3 again, two capsules of it. 
and do it at lunch. So during those four days, you'll be taking six capsules of Omega Gize 3, breakfast, lunch, and supper, two capsules of Longevity, breakfast and bedtime, and then two ounces of Ninja Juice three times a day, so getting six ounces in. So that's kind of basically the, the um, four-day uh, diet. It's something that I think is very, very doable for m most people. It can do anything for, for four, four days if you put your mind to it. It's simple. It's not an expensive thing. Again, you don't have to use the supplements. They're there if you want to really ramp it up. And it's something that's going to really kickstart your body in the right direction and could give you a lot more than just a more younger looking face. So after your four days are over, it is good to get some good quality sleep as well. Like don't try to do a, a night with only two or three hours sleep in the middle of doing your four day nutritional facelift because you want to get everything going in the right direction. So after you've done the four days, then again, face all washed, take a good picture put on the front, a picture from the side, and then get the two pictures out and compare them. Now, this is not something new, this idea of a nutritional facelift. One of the uh, famous doctors that does a lot with cosmetics and, and beauty is Dr. Nicholas Paracone. And he has a three-day sort of facelift diet that I adapted and, and worked around with some of my own ideas. And so there's lots of pictures online of before and after just the um, diet. Now, presuming they've not been photoshopped or they not played with the pictures, then it's quite interesting how good your face looks after four days of a really clean diet with lots of water. So I would be eternally grateful if people are diving in to do this, if you would share your before and after uh, pictures with us. We won't make them public at all, but it just gives you us um, an idea of the kind of results that different people of different ages, different nationalities, different um, uh, walks of life, what kind of results they're getting with this program. You can get really amazing results using natural ways to help yourself look younger. Um, this is me 14 years ago. Um, this is what prompted me to develop the Second Chance Facial Rejuvenation Protocol that we developed. And as you can see, this is after six weeks of treatment, 12 sessions, which is the, the system that we recommend with our protocol. The dramatic difference in my face, um, the lines between my forehead, my thinking lines, they're not frowning lines for me, they're thinking lines. Uh, disappeared, my neck tightened up, the, the dark under the eyes and the bags disappeared, the crow's feet were much smaller. It was dramatic and it, it's really fun to be almost 15 years older than that now and to still have almost no wrinkles and almost no signs of aging on my face. Now, it takes hard work and it takes dedication and it takes watching your diet and doing the right thing for your body. But I can tell you, as I get closer to my 60th birthday, there's nothing more wonderful than feeling good when you look in the mirror and see um, your face looking back in, in a good way. So this graphic here is uh, my beauty graphic. So build your table, your basic pillars of health. And these wonderful beauty products from Young Living, our art skin, our mint satin scrub. Now we've got our savvy minerals to add on top of that. And it'll really help you with your, your uh, visual, how your face looks in that. So supplements made simple. I hope that this has been something that has helped you to see how easy it is to do the right thing for your body. I hope my analogies of, of a car with its fluids resonates with you or building a table and having all four legs in the tabletop in place is an easy way for you to remember the basics that everybody should have. And I hope that you embrace some of these suggestions and run with them. If you want to go in with the uh, uh, four-day uh, nutritional facelift, um, menu and give that a whirl. I know that uh, I will hear lots of wonderful stories back about not only how much younger your face looked, 
but most likely how much younger your body felt as well. And it's been my absolute pleasure to um, be with you this evening. I know your time is valuable and it's the middle of the summer. And so I really honor you for taking time out of your lives to uh, join me and Skyla as uh, we get to share something that I'm very passionate about. And uh, I hope that it'll become a passion of yours to pass this on to other people. Oh, Carla, thank you so, so very much. What a lot of phenomenal food for thought. <laughs> And, and I agree. I think I speak for everyone in saying of all the things, the plans and, and things that I have read about and heard about, I honestly think that the four-day nutritional plan is very doable. Really. Yeah. We can do anything for four days. <laughs> so that is absolutely awesome. I, I want to thank everybody for coming. I also want to let you know that if you are here live, um, you're welcome to stick around, provided that Carla is available. I should clear that first um, for just a few minutes of, of live Q&A. So we're going to wrap up the recording. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll just say real quick that next week um, on Thursday Night Live, we are going to be having a diamond from Alaska. Corey DeVries will be joining us next week. And so stay tuned um, to that Thursday Night Live Facebook page so that you can learn a little bit more about what she will be talking about. She has a phenomenal story, so I don't think you're going to want to miss this one. <laughs>